Alright, so everybody knows what happened last time. You entered weapon Demon. complex uh, on yeah on nameless planet that houses uh, apparently some ancient weapon of mass destruction that might be able to help you prevent biggest high fleet in recorded history. And yeah, very last turn that we played, Xantis finally decided to roll on uh, Perils of the Warp or or whatever is it called properly, I forgot. And due to situation in this particular scenario, the amount of warp energy that's been going around and filling the air, instead of lesser demon, there's a greater one. It's yeah, only there for eight turns. I'm still nice and salty about that. Well, um, I'm proud I thought of it to me. Salty like your chicken. <laughs> uh. Salt on chicken. I mean, <laughs> trust Demko to be trying to kill Taste, you guys tasteless. even on my campaign, not on his. <laughs> oh, don't worry. If the tech priest is ever in any danger, Xanthus is going to get a big old bucket of popcorn and watch. Okay, Xanthus, so... why aren't you just watching? You got it, champ. I, I thought he was just going to do a crassel and eat chicken. I think... I don't remember if, if Demon <laughs> Summoning was on Xanthus' turn, or he has turn yet. It was on Xanthus' turn after uh, finishing off the Velocir Reaper thingy, my bobs, with his um, Bio Lightning. Okay, so I think now it will be Chao's turn. Yes. And to remind you, when they do... Somebody gives uh, back, not backlash, echo from me. Not now, okay, strange. Anyways, uh, for Gabriel, reminder that Zhao heard due to his awareness check that there is some movement there and there is definitely something preparing directly to the east. And quite a lot of people, so probably another horde. If you're saying something, I don't hear it. He is ah, right. typing. Okay. Just type it on Road20 if needed. Okie dokie. Uh, that's all. Okay, uh, Zygmunt. So we see your partner taking a step back from these massive doors, these massive doors, and setting up Overwatch. Uh, in that case, I think my move is six. Let me check. Hold on. I'm going to do my uh, overwatch as well. I'm going to go up here. It's well within my move. But uh, can... Just shy of my move. So you can write on chat if for a free here action did you overwatch uh, as well. mention to Sigmund that there are enemies on the other side. I would appreciate it. Okay. Besides that, uh, turn count six. And now... Okay, both Xantis and Moriana hear uh, demented cackling, cackling coming from... Oh, you know, echoing from this <laughs> corridor. And... I know you're slightly in unhinged, Xanthus, but please, this is no time to laugh. That was not me. What? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so... <sighs> he just straight up ran at you. Um, I hope so. Um, he... He is. I think it's written in the rules that they are forced to uh, go for the one that summoned them. So yes, he would move to us. Yeah, I believe that is literally its sole purpose right now is killing me. All right. Uh, okay. So suddenly, as there's the man. Someone is giving echo again. 
Is it me? Not me. Not sure really. Let, Let me know, know if it's fixed now. Uh, sounds like it's from. It was from John. John or Demko? It's not me. I'm muted. Never normally have echo, but I'll just mute myself in between. Oh, okay. So at first you heard cackling, and then uh, very demented, slightly, maybe not. I know it. He will say that afterwards. And then you hear like swish and blast as something powerful just tore. It sounds like something powerful tore through uh, uh, doors. And uh, I might as well delete it. Gone instead. Uh, what the fuck? Oh shit! Although I guess what I do depends on what the demon does. Find out what the demon does. Yeah, yeah. For now, he will be only be able to move. Uh, full. Uh, nothing really much else. Okay, so <clears throat> this is gone, and then from the corridor over uh, Velocity Reapers, uh, like machines designed to hunt and kill, you see enormous uh, reptilian chaos creature with additionally two. He looks similar to Marabas, although with several differences. For once, he's bigger. I check, I double check in a book, and he is size enormous. Marabas doesn't have that. Additionally, you see that he has two horrific horns sprouting from his head. Uh, also, in the back, you see tail uh, wiggling around. And in some places, or just around him, you see that he has grotesque quivering ten tentacles. I and, think he's going uh, for you, Moriana. He's going like full run. I was enjoying my vacation. <laughs> ah, this will be good stress relief. And you see that in his, both of his hands, he holds a uh, power sight, which at the first glance looks uh, like as power typical, uh, you know, chaos uh, power sight. And if you want, as a fraction, I'm gonna give you. Where is it? Uh, heart minus twenty awareness test. <laughs> Everyone or just them? Well, just, can you them. see the demon? <laughs> well, I... I'm gonna say because you said Overwatch, you are focused on the door. That's fine. Just up there. Wow. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to ask. <laughs> He got a two. I oh, am. Yeah. Okay, so you both realize that this weapon is anything but normal. After all, this is Lord of Change. So, as a mass, as a one who has boons from Masters of Life as Deception, you basically get it that this is a demon weapon, and one of the special qualities is illusory. <laughs> So, twisting reality about the weapon in order to consider its nature and purpose. So, I might even give you that. When you're gonna be making dodge and parry tests to avoid its attacks, you will be getting minus 10 penalty. And pro tip, this is not the only special quality of this weapon. And yeah, so oh. the only thing he can do, he came here, one round less. Uh, 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 if I live, I am. I definitely need a pay rise. Yep. And yeah, so Moriana, you just saw this guy literally running from the corridor in all of his chaos, demonic glory, wielding big two-handed power sight, which is a demon weapon. And what kind of face does he have? Is he have like a birdie face? Mm, yeah, just for the simplicity. Uh, uh, yet another overgrown chicken. <laughs> <laughs> At which point she uh, goes ham. Shall we fry it? 
charges in, I get one Do you attack. tell anyone, by the way, as a free action that, hey, there's a demon here? No. I'm pretty sure it's damn obvious. Y'all are in the hallway with us. Mariana <laughs> is too busy eyeing it up to kill. She is uh, remember about concentrated. Size, size, size enormous. Uh, That's plus 20, isn't it? Because hulking is plus 10. Uh, I'm gonna check freaking handout uh, actions and combat. Uh, no, wait, where is it? Shh. Oh, see the damn thing. Uh, yeah. Damn it! Where the fuck I put it? Oh no, wait! I I know hey, where I, I know did where it. I... Uh, give me. Well, I mean, you hear Mariana mutter something about an overgrown chicken, another overgrown chicken. So <clears throat> take that for what you will. <laughs> no, oh, she just chicken. she just says, "Not another overgrown chicken." And. Uh, yeah, enormous, tall, so yeah, enormous. Yeah, enormous gives you plus twenty. Nice. That's a plus. <laughs> I should be able to hit his head if I'm careful. All right. Sanctified. Um, so I just can't use anything we'll but see. aim shots. I hit. Okay. Uh, I, he will try to parry. My weapon. I'm not sure. What does sanctified do against demons again? They you don't get their uh, enough. Come on, it's tough. Yeah, yeah. That. but he can still parry. No, <laughs> never. Yes, yes, he can. No, he can't. And he's a chicken. <laughs> he will, and he, as Marabas definitely look like a sorcerer and schemer. This guy, or maybe that's his form. This guy looks more like a. Re looks like one from something from Moriana's perverse. Never mind. Okay, oh. so that's he Sanctified is. weapons are tearing against demons. Oh. Okay, so he makes it no problem. Okay. And he has counter attack talent. Nice. You're fucked. Am I though? So he's gonna just. You see, as. Even though it's a parasite, you see as Moriana. Uh, Santis, you see as Moriana tries to strike him and he nifty parries the strike, and in doing so, just with bare minimum of, of like, strength use, he swipes at uh, Moriana. Ooh. And he makes and it. He makes it. Oh boy, and I guess that's a hit. Counter attack is undodgeable, right? Yeah, that's how we played it uh, when okay, you counter attack. Cool. And I'm sorry. just asking, I'm just asking. Yeah, and sorry my mother is calling, so just give me a minute. Um, there's a lot of change here. <sighs> uh, sorry, but you know. Family matters. Uh, yep, so I'm gonna roll damage. Yep. Just to know, his target number, just with nothing, with no bonuses, was 70. This guy's good. Okay, power side. D10 plus 7 plus. Uh, so, so. And does it give any. Pen, yes. If it didn't have pen, I would be very... Uh, 20, 21? How much pen? 7. 21. Um, does it have any special demonic qualities? And it will have something more. As you'll learn, you see, <laughs> as, he, as, he, as he hit him, as Santis, you see that suddenly, sight, as he hits Moriana, crackles with arcane power. And a uh, demon within that weapon, or basically just charge, uh, is unleashes the unleashes power, the tasting power the blood of Moriana, uh, blasting over the raw power of the warp. Basically, it's a, basically I gave Sorcerer's Force quality. So, uh, we can make opposed willpower tests. Oh god, it's a force sword. <laughs> Killing intent! 
No. <laughs> uh. And just let me just. Uh, oh shit! Because you didn't ah. see an aura. Shit! I need to change that. Uh, no, you should see it. The aura that you see, uh, it is demonic presence. Uh, just tell me if you have something to counter it. Basically, that demonic presence means that uh, uh, that you get minus tw minus twenty. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't copy it. But definitely they have it. They have that you get minus twenty tool power tests. I hope your shit is hex uh, hex warded. I mean, I'm pretty. I'm. Sh I'm. I'm betting that there is something to counter it, but I, I don't know if I have it. Uh, I do. I don't know if she does. I do not. <laughs> oh boy. What I do have. You is getting fuckled, son. I need to see how much damage that takes. So twenty-one minus my shit. And, uh, and uh, by the way, even though I didn't put uh, exclamation mark, exploding guys, uh, just for the for the future, assuming he will survive that long, uh, all of his attacks, of course, are also like exploding guys. So if he gets ten, he might just throw out just another team, just, just as just as other enemies here. Uh, minus twenty to willpower, but it's minus ten. Uh, well, I failed. Well, you're about to die. I mean, it's not Please much of a fail. He can still roll wars because it's, it's a, it is an opposed willpower test. His willpower, his target number is 70. So... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I rolled 3 and a 4, sorry. And what is that? Well, mm -hmm. that means that basically every degree of success this an additional 1d10 energy. Let's see the damage. It's gonna be glorious. Is that fucking 10 degrees? Do it. 10 10 d10. Uh, that's 10d10, motherfuckers. Let's go. Although I don't think they get righteous fury, so no ex no exclamation mark, no exploding dice. <sighs> Roll 10d10, let's... let's... 10, 10d10. 10 10d10. <laughs> yes! Kill her! You know, Shoot I'm gonna her. fuck up your tech priest and everything you love. <laughs> I have more power over you than you have I mean, you. technically you can still burn a fate point to survive. Can. This is where Xanthus just kind of looks, and it's just like, oh my god, are you kidding? So that, that's, uh, yeah, that, that's gonna kill me. Um, I am just going to burn the fate point to quick succeed the willpower test and beat him, I guess. I mean, not one will give you how many degrees of success? Oh, no, wait, I need to double check what's the warning on this. Either you don't get any damage on it, or will it still be something? <laughs> Number of successes equal to bonus of accuracy being tested. So if you crit that willpower, how many degrees of success you're gonna get? Five. It's not no. That's still not gonna be enough to really help you. <laughs> You'll have five uh, after, after that, would, wouldn't it be? It'll still reduce the number of damage. I think instead of 10d10, it would be 2d10 damage. Yes. Yeah. Which is a lot better, I'll go with that. Yeah, so instead of 50, you get 10. So the, I'm not gonna roll a next uh, one more time, just take first 5 and second 5 from that roll. Okay. Does that get spun? Is that armor and toughness, or is it just armor? Neither, actually. It goes right through both. It goes right through both? Okay, so that's 10 straight damage. <sighs> I'm gonna be even nice to say to Xantis and Mariana that, yeah, you pretty much have a good guess what kind of quality that weapon has. Shit, uh, Mariana might not, but Xanthus definitely knows what that was. 
<laughs> Don't get touched by it. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so... Don, I have a question. Yeah? Why did you only attack once? Because I charged. No, you I need my bonuses. I did. How did. did you charge? It came to us. He, he was in combat with you, not me. I was there. He full moved. He didn't even attack Xantis, so technically he's next to Xantis, but he didn't engage in melee yet. So Moriana could hmm? charge him, no problem. And she had oh. enough space. No, I I thought you were there from the beginning, so I was like, uh, no. Because she engaged in combat, he's now in melee. Yes. But only now, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And question, well, how many I... times can you potentially counterattack in a turn? I think it's just one time since you parry. It's just, it's just the once. Oh, right, because only it's one. how many reactions he has. And, and he, he has Hollow has... Steel and step aside. Oh, so. sorry, I'm... Actually, being moderately retarded right now, I'm just kind of tired. <laughs> okay, yeah. It is well, thanks, for, compare. thanks for answer. Okay. Thanks for answer. For... Okay, so. Thanks for well, answer. I was going to do something, but. Ooh. Now I'm kind of curious. Hmm. Damn. I mean, by the way, if Moriana and Xantis has a free action, um, is there a skill check? to see how many wounds enemy has, like to decide no. how strong he is. Because I know in Pathfinder there is like a heal check, or... I thing. mean... It would make some sense to be able to dictate, or not dictate, to determine... Like, oh, this enemy is not that badly injured, or... Oh, damn, this guy is two minutes away well. from death! We haven't even touched him, so he's pretty fucking healthy. I mean, more in a sense, like, if I could say, okay, so he has, like, more than X wounds, or That something. would probably be Medicaid. Like that was I mean, if you want a reaction, reaction, you can you can make it both more and I'm gonna give it to you. Because I'm, I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> no, that's... Um, wow, okay. Okay, well... Hmm. Okay, you know that he has more than 100. <laughs> Damn, go, I'm going to kill you. I mean, that's greater demon. I looked up how <sighs> to demon character, uh, demon character creation in a Demon Hunter book, and that's what it says. Like, 100 or 120 is the base. Anyway, uh, you can go Xantis with your... Unleash big guns, man! You're gonna need it. At least what? Oh, unleash the big guns. Hmm. Shame we don't have Holocaust. <sighs> no, but I do have something. I really don't want to do it, though. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there's a chance that Holocaust will kill them first and not demon. Hold on a second, I need to read some... Where the hell is my phone? Oh, there it is. Let's say, is my phone a demon? Where did it go? <sighs> okay, let me read right quick. Table day content. I cannot get my Black Crusade character uh, rulebook to open for some reason. It keeps crashing my PDF viewer. Is it the only PDF that you're looking at? Uh, I closed all, all the other ones after it started, started crashing. Still, it like crashed. there might be some sort of error. <sighs> I guess I'll try. Yeah, don't there sometimes. Oh, no, oh. it yeah, sorry, go I ahead. Guess I will I will cease I will cease to sustain the regeneration. Actually no, I'll keep regeneration on. Which would then make this thirty-two. Hm. Fuck. Fuck. By rating Modifier. 
Corpus conversion. Let's give it a good modifier of 12. Uh, are you Get. sure about the Corpus conversion? Yep. Get fucked. Push. Oh, yeah. And that's, <laughs> those are that's two phenomena. No, uh, push doesn't raise the amount. It just, when if you do roll a nine, then it automatically pushes it up by five. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, uh, you're thinking of uh, weaken the veil. Oh, okay. But I do still have to roll. It's an automatic phenomena, and every nine get every nine just makes it worse. I knew it does mm. something. Okay, so can you describe me what Purgatus does, and does that Mortical sort of change? Is can he do anything, or is he gone? Far oh, you'll uh, you'll see in just a sec. But first, let's handle these phenomena. Okay, psychic phenomena 44, 56. Gale or warp ghost. Spectral gale is the one where we either make an agility test or get knocked to the ground. And warp ghost is the one where everyone makes willpower or gets an insanity point. Let's take the insanity point. I think we I'll are fine. Say, we are outside of the range. I do not want to I be knocked on the floor. I think it's 3d10 meters, so y'all will be fine. If that's what I just said. So, Moriana uh, and Xanthus... I'm not even going to bother. I'm just giving the infinite... I'm just giving the point. You only need to... Uh, you're going with the 44, right? Uh, no, the 56. Because, oh. hopefully, I have all sorts of shit against psychic things. It's one insanity point, and I don't care, I'm just gonna take it. Fuck the rule. Now, as to what Pergatus does, that's the thing I use to blast people's willpower out of their skulls. So... I'm going to blast this demon's willpower out of its skull. It owes me a willpower save. Or does rather, it have a negative? Yep. For every four points by which I succeed uh, at <laughs> it has negative 10 willpower so unless my math is wrong that's negative 100 willpower uh, and we do oppose willpower checks alright uh, you see that strongman icon I'm in top right corner of the mm -hmm. token that's I'm now sure gone, now gone. That's his fate point. I'm gonna spend it so that he critically succeeds above all their expectations. Hmm. Although even on a critical success at a negative hundred, that's still kind of it's still fun though. Definitely, definitely less worse. Worse. <laughs> what did you say? It's uh, check was a seventy. Yes. So. That would mean seven degrees, or rather, hold up, seventy minus one hundred. Ah. I wouldn't that be surprised if it had some resistances as well. Is it exactly seventy, or is it over seventy? Uh, exactly seventy. Exactly. And then that six degrees that he be, uh, that he uh, succeeds by, uh, and then you got a two point nine, so he beat you by four. No, I still beat him. Remember, negative hundred. So, even with a crit success, I thought you had to do the negative still has to... hmm? I'm sorry. Say that again, Gabriel. No, no, no. Uh, he doesn't take the negatives yet. He, um, you have to beat him in the opposed willpower. Um, I don't. So it, it takes the negatives right. It takes the negatives before we do the competition. Mm, not as I'm reading. I mean, Gabriel, do you mean this that he doesn't really roll? He just gets. No, there's. Okay, so Psycho selects one target within the power's range. The Psycho and his target must immediately make an opposed to a power test. For every degree by which the Psycho wins, the target must then take 1d10 permanent willpower damage. Should this reduce the target to zero, the target is reduced to a drooling vegetable. 
uh, their mind utterly destroyed. If the cycle loses, he takes a uh, level of fatigue, uh, cannot work against any targets with bestial or machine trait. Uh, for every four points of, by which there was an overbleed, you may increase the difficulty of the opponent's willpower test by one step. So um, that's what he did. Overbleed? How uh, much did you overbleed? A fuckload. Ten oh. times. So. <laughs> so, ten, t uh, ten times or ten points? Ten times. So it was 40 points. Ten groups of overbleed. Okay, so yeah, uh, it's, well, the worst it can get is 60. So, 